Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One for iPad, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the freehand tool. So if ever there was a tool to be used in SketchUp with the pencil, it's the freehand tool. Uh, we're going to talk about not just using it with the pencil, but how to use it with touch and mouse also. But uh, let's look at how it works and uh, how to get to it in SketchUp for iPad. All right, so here I have it pulled up. I actually have the freehand tool. It's not part of the initial uh, tools we have down here. I do have to hit the little dot, dot, dot button to get to it. It's this first icon in the second group. Uh, but when you have it selected, you'll get the flyout menu and there's some options in there. There's, you know, our, our standard things we've seen, the, the colored toggles and then some new things up here as well as the learn button at the bottom. But let's go into how to use it real quick. Um, so let's talk first about these I'm going, to, I'm going to start by using the pencil. We'll go into each of the input modes in just one second, but uh, let's start talk first about using these uh, inference locks. So what I can do is I can actually turn on an inference lock and draw a freehand tool or a freehand shape. Um, I'm going to go and do one each. So there's red, here's green, and then let's do a blue one. So they look exactly the same, but as soon as I start rotating, you can see that they're actually on different... Uh, axes. So this red one is drawn perpendicular to the red axes. The green one here is perpendicular to that green axis. And then of course the blue one is drawn, looks flat on the ground because it's perpendicular to the vertical axes. So you can use that inference locking using as you start drawing. If you don't use inference locking, freehand's really cool in that I'm gonna go ahead and undo to get rid of those those swirls and then we'll go take a look at my little box over here. One of the cool things about how freehand works is it will auto inference the surface I'm drawing over. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna come in here and using the pencil, the pencil works the same whether you're in just draw mode or click, move, click. I'm gonna come down here, start drawing a line, meander up, come on on the top and then come down the side. Look at how, see how it's changing colors automatically as I go over. It knows that those faces are different directions and it's jumping to each of those. So when I'm done, I end up with a line that goes up and over automatically. And that, that was simple. There's no special tapping. There's nothing. I put the pencil on the screen, start moving, and I'm drawing a line. That easy. If you don't have a pencil, you want to draw with this, absolutely can do that too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of long press here. I'm going to start dragging up. I'm going to drag onto the top. Same thing, I'm going to come over here, drag down, see how it turns red there at the end. Same thing, it does exactly the same way. In mouse, again, guess what? Very much the same way. Uh, the downside, of course, with mouse is you don't get that physical interaction. So drawing smooth curved lines can be a little rougher, but it does work the same way. So I'm going to click, I'm going to, click to start my line, drag that up there. Oh, again, inferencing is going to say, okay, you're on blue. I come down here on red. There we go. Guess what? Same thing, look at that. Wraps right around there. Auto inferencing is great. And uh, like I said, it can be pretty simple to use no matter what your input tool is. Now, something I do want to point out is these tools or these, these icons over here. So we mentioned that, you know, the inferencing and the learn icon, those we've seen before. Here, we have a little squiggly line with a plus and a squiggly line with a minus. This will increase or decrease the last line drawn as far as details. So if I start tapping minus, Look, see how those those points are showing the edge of each or the end of each edge in this long curve. As I hit minus, they start to go away until it gets down to the minimum number, which would be in this case, I'm guessing get maybe get down to three edges. Oh, it starts too too many gone at that point. So there we go. That's the, the least number of edges that makes sense to keep it on the faces. And then if I hit plus, it's going to put those curves back in and then eventually get to the point where, oh, look at that, dense, dense curve, all those points, nice smooth curve all the way around. So you can increase and decrease here uh, as needed immediately after you draw that freehand curve. So there you go. That's freehand curve on SketchUp for iPad. Uh, like I said, it's probably one of the most intuitive tools that you can get because it's drawing lines with a pencil on a pad. It's kind of like what we've all been doing since preschool. So 
uh, yeah, try it out. See how you like it. See how it functions. And that auto inferencing where it jumps on is, oh, it's so cool. It's very, it makes it very easy to work with. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos around here each and every week, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. What do you think of the freehand tool? Have you used it on iPad? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.